this Monday. You know, I love that we were just talking truly about classic ways of cleaning. Cleaning with that apple cider vinegar. When it comes to classic in the kitchen, it is all about cast iron. We have reinvented cast iron in a sense though, because what you're seeing right here is non-stick cast iron. Ever heard of that before? Non-stick cast iron, and we've done it in, in a great big pan. And today, $24.95, you're saving $20 with every one you buy, and you may want to get a couple of these. We have different color options in them as well. Look how pretty these are. I have the teal that's in my hand, but we also have it available in the red. And then your classic black as well. Now, I would also let you know, we have an eight inch in that cast iron pan. I don't have it on set with me, but we have the eight inch, where, where are you wanting to go? Here. <laughs> I don't know, everybody's pointing at me like, go here, go here, all right, I, I need a GPS. I do know one thing, Chef Shahir Masood is joining me right here. And, uh, you got uh, drawn over by the smell of the steaks. We're gonna get to the steaks in a second. You know else, me so well, okay. So we're gonna start then with our salad chopper yeah. right now. And um, our salad chopper is so smart, I love this. I love I love, a good, I love a good kitchen gadget, yeah. okay? Yeah. $16.95, this is one of those things you will use so many different ways once you get this home. So here's the thing with the salad chopper. Think of all those jobs that you have to lug out a cutting board, get a dull knife, just to do a cucumber or a little bit of lettuce. So at Kitchen HQ, we said, hold on, how can we make that job a little bit easier? Here's the salad chopper, you've got that serrated blade. Here's the thing, that blade never, ever, ever gets dull. Because a blade gets dull, when it hits your cutting board. So it's easy, it's compact, your blade never gets dull, and you don't have to lug out a knife, a cutting board, to prep everything you need for a salad, or even a fruit bowl, which I'm gonna show you in a second. So you just put whatever you're chopping, your cucumbers, your boiled eggs, your mushrooms, I have threw in radishes, and you just chop away. Anyone with dexterity issues, anyone with a smaller kitchen, or again, those jobs where you otherwise would have to get out a cutting board, get out a dull knife, you no longer have to do. Super easy, and when you're done, Alice, right into your dishwasher. Okay, so how right. do I open it? Let's start with the beginning. And that's a great point. <laughs> so look, there's a safety feature here, so. Right on the back. Yep, so that you could store it safely, and then you pop it open like that. Okay. So we thought of everything. We wanted to keep it safe because those serrated blades are nice and sharp. So mm -hmm. you close it like that, put it in your drawer, right. and then you pop it open to use it. Again, for your lettuces, your cucumbers, your boiled eggs for salads. I like how fast it is. Super because fast. Because you have the double blades. Double blades, even small things like baby corn and baby zucchini. You got the double oh, serrated blade, right? <laughs> Again, I threw in radishes in here. You're getting some endive, cucumbers. Now I've got a chopped salad literally in seconds without having a cutting board, without having a dull knife. And like I said, Alice, those blades are never ever gonna dull because they're not hitting a cutting board. Right, so smart. And not so only smart. that, what you're also getting is even cutting. You know, if you yep. try to, to chop something, if you're like me, it's like one's this big and one's this big and yep. then one's this big. This is gonna give you even cutting every time, which always just looks prettier in your presentation. You know, I like that part. Prettier and I love the cleanup as well. Like mm -hmm. I said, you know, all those little tasks, like before, if I want to slice a few strawberries, I've gotta get a little cutting board, I've yep. gotta get a knife, no more. You get it right into Done. your salad chopper. Mm -hmm. Done. So if I want to prep a quick fruit salad, takes me seconds, and I have nothing to wash really. I throw this into my dishwasher, and off I go. What? Look at that. Isn't that like, great? Yeah. Are those like little baby zucchinis? Baby zucchinis. Oh, so look, cute baby zucchinis. Are. I like to throw them into salads, but also stir fries. Mm -hmm. So baby zucchinis, baby corns, into my salads, into my stir fries. And look, half the battle when trying to eat healthier is getting that prep out of the way, that's really what keeps us from eating healthier, buying and eating fresh. So to make that job easier, Love that. you're gonna eat healthier, you're gonna prep faster, mm -hmm. and the cleanup is so easy. Cleanup is easy. Throw it in the dishwasher. Love it even for your peppers, everything. Yep. You're gonna be able to use this for. Um, we have three color choices you're seeing. Um, Chef is using the teal. I have it available in the white, and then we also have it in the red. You know, make the chopping. The chopping's the yep. part that, yep. that you just don't like. 
This is simple, easy, and I will tell you this too. It is so simple to squeeze it. You know, some of the, the uh, other choppers I've tried, it can be like, okay, it's gonna take yeah. me two hands. The way that this is kind of spring-loaded there um, makes it simple and easy. Can we, I just wanna show yeah. you right here. Can you like, show that safety like, feature? Yeah. Super easy. Look at this, okay, look it's at great. how simple this is in terms of squeezing it because of that little spring load. And then you were showing them the little safety part. That right little there. safety part, throw Pop it in your dishwasher. Yep. Even, yeah. even if you've got dexterity issues, yeah. super easy to use. Love it, and it's gonna store great as well. $16.95, it is gonna take your time in the kitchen and make it simple, simple, and easy. But we also have something else, that when it comes to high performance, in the kitchen, it is all about cast iron, right? We love our cast iron, yep. but what we hate is having to season it. I could never figure out if it's really clean because you never really clean it. Well, now you have non-stick cast iron. So we have it in two sizes. I wish I had the eight inch out here to show you, but I don't have that available for you in the kitchen. We do have it available to buy though. For under $20, the, I love an eight inch pan. Yep. But I, I'm not sure I've seen an eight inch cast iron. So pick that one up for under $20, but then this is the one that you're gonna use all the time because this is that 11 inch classic cast iron, but classic with innovation, all right? Because now you're gonna get nonstick on the inside, but yet the high performance of that cast iron you love. You even have your pour spouts on it as well and beautiful color choices. So this is going to be your teal. We also have it classic black as well as your red color. Nothing <laughs> cooks like cast iron, which is why a lot of times on a menu, yeah. you go to a great a great restaurant, you know what they'll say? Cast yeah. iron ribeye. Because right. it cooks differently than other pans. So the reason, Alice, that in restaurants we always promote that we're using cast iron is because food gets hot, stays hot. Check out these beautiful steaks. Look at the deep char that I got on that yeah. steak. I got my crisscross. Talk mm -hmm. about year-round grilling and talk about, I'm gonna get geeky with you now, Alice. Okay. This is the Maillard reaction. This is what we wanna see when grilling a steak, a pork chop, even a vegetable. I'm gonna hold it up for you guys to see. That's the caramelization, that deep caramelization of your proteins or the natural sugars in your vegetables. This is the sear you want. Cast iron gets you that sear because it gets hot and it stays hot. But the Ooh, reason why pretty. people have loved our whole lineup at mm -hmm. Kitchen HQ is we took the fussy nature of cast iron and made it non-stick. Easy to clean. It's so it's you life could throw changing, it in the right? It's, it's a life changing. Completely life changing to have a non-stick cast iron. Yeah. I mean, you think about all those years. My grandmother lived in the South. Man, she cooked. She cooked her eggs and her bacon Absolutely. every morning and in her cast iron. But trying to clean those things, you couldn't figure out. It's like, am I supposed to use a cleaner? Yep. I, or just do? Are you leave it seasoning? Because that doesn't seem really really clean to me. Sure. So now you don't have to worry about it. Clean it. It's non-stick. And that's the beauty of the cast iron we're offering. $24.95. You're getting a tremendous savings today. $20 off. So get a couple of these because this is what's going to be on this. Yep. These pans are going to be on your stovetop or in your oven for that matter. And you know what? So this is our grill version, which I love because it's not just about cast iron, not mm -hmm. just about nonstick. It's about bringing that grill flavor indoors, right? So this is the grill pan version, but again, equally as nonstick, you're gonna see here in the same pan that I have my steaks, a little bit of stock, even some wine. In traditional cast iron, you can't cook with wine because it doesn't react well with the cast iron. But with our nonstick version, you can cook with wine, you can cook with acidic tomato sauces, mm -hmm. all of those things. Now I'm gonna deglaze the bottom of that pan. I could add a little bit of, of cream here. So now I've got a grilled steak with a little pan sauce. Think about all the foods you love to grill. I've got veggies, I've got burgers. Year round without worrying about them slipping through a grill, without worrying about propane, charcoal. Love year round grilling, especially with cast iron. So I've got that pan sauce here, right onto those beautiful steaks we talked about, the grill marks and the mired reaction. But look, Alice. Yeah, beautiful. Look and at the bottom of my pan. Look at the pan. Like nothing is here. 
Yeah, we're going to show you the pan because, frankly, you're cleaning it so fast we can barely get a shot <laughs> oh, of guys, it. Okay, so get in here. <laughs> we you need know, to like do it on slow we've motion. We've scooped it all out, <laughs> and again, a little bit of hot water. Mm -hmm. You could put it in the dishwasher. That's unheard of with cast iron. Yeah. So, Alice, when we talked about earlier the eight-inch size, and we sold a 10-inch and a 12-inch, we've sold over 30,000 of these cast iron pans from Kitchen HQ, and now this is the grill version, which I love. The grill version that is available for you at $24.95. Now, here's the thing. If you want to get this home for, let's say, right under $15, apply for our HSN card. As soon as you are approved for it, you get $10 off your next purchase. So this would be under yeah. $15. Cast iron is expensive. It is expensive, but there's a reason why people pony up for it and pay mm. for it because it works because you get that beautiful char. You get that really Look great that. sear. That's why restaurants say on their menu, this yep. is cooked in cast iron, a cast iron ribeye, a cast iron steak, a cast iron this or that. There's a reason for that. You're gonna be able to do that at home and get those great results. And when talking about specifically the grilled cast iron pan, all those things traditionally you'd put outdoors on your grill and worry about charcoal yeah. and propane. Right. These beautiful charred onions, half the time when I do them outside, they slip through. Right. So to do it indoors year round with cast iron, knowing we're gonna get that even coloration, that even heat, it's gonna give me that Maillard reaction. Mm -hmm. So that Maillard reaction isn't just for a steak, it's for your veggies, it's for your fish. Think about fish on the grill how often it sticks. Nothing will stick in your cast iron from Kitchen HQ, right. even skin on salmon. Nothing will stick. Now you added some oil there, but mostly just for, for yep. seasoning, right? But if you wanna cook healthy, that's the one thing that, especially in cast iron, you could not cook healthy in cast iron because you had to add something so yep. it wouldn't stick. Now with that non-stick though, if you wanna just do the salmon and just let the salmon cook without any kind of oils or, or extra sure. butters or anything, so cook healthy, you know, that's the beauty of what you're getting here. The choice to cook healthy, but the benefits of having truly some of the best pans in the world, some of the most coveted pans, yep. the pans that we pass down from generation to generation to generation, what are they? They're cast They're iron. They're cast iron. Yeah. And these have that feeling, Alice, that's what I love about them. So it doesn't feel like you've compromised anything. You right. have that heirloom feel to it, that quality. 11 inches, you've got the grill marks, you're not going outside in the rain, in the snow, charcoal, propane, you're not worried about any of that. But you get the attributes of a grill pan with cast iron, with non-stick, which is mm -hmm. totally cool. All right, burgers. Well, my burger's almost Coming there. Coming up. My burgers are almost <laughs> there. But I love that you can do that indoors. Get your grill marks on your burgers. Mm -hmm. Get the grill marks on the steak, on your pork chops. Chicken thighs are lovely in this. And seafood. People are petrified to throw a piece of fish on the grill because it know, sticks. You, you this buy, will never stick. You, you buy like a little piece of black grouper, it's $25 a pound, you know? Yep. I would be petrified, yes. Absolutely. Because you're so afraid it's gonna stick and you're gonna ruin it. Now you're gonna get the ability to cook in a different way than has ever really been possible yep. with non-stick and the benefits of that, that quality of, of the cast iron cooking all put together oh, yeah. in a very affordable pan. This is $24.95 on sale today. So we've taken $20 off of what you would normally pay for this. Normally, $45 for this pan because this is your big pan. This is your traditional. This is the classic. This is the one that everybody buys first when it comes to cast iron, which is gonna be that nice, great, big 11-inch grill fry pan, okay? Like I said, we also do have your eight-inch cast iron nonstick available for you as well. So if you're interested in the eight inch, under $20 for you to get that home and to try it. We have all three color choices as well. The teal, the black, and the red. Mmm, that smells so good. So anything you would put on the grill, your pork chops, your chicken thighs, of course your steaks. It's all about getting hot and retaining that heat. That's the power of cast iron. And Alice, if ever you've seared a pork chop or a steak, on something other than cast iron, and mm -hmm. you see some spots get brown and some parts don't, and it's kind of steaming, that's because any other material doesn't really retain heat like cast iron, and you're totally right. In restaurants, we always promote the fact right. that we're cooking with cast iron. Mm -hmm. So to do it at home, to not worry about cleanup, to make sure that it's non-stick, to cook with wine and tomato, you can't do that with old school cast iron. Right, and look at how those burgers are coming oh, along. Oh, there's one and, nice and again, one. Again, even with your there, cast no iron, problem. the other thing you get is just complete even heating. Yep. Because it is one 
thing. It is iron that has yep. been cast. And that's why you don't have to worry about, does this pan have a hot spot? Is this part gonna get cooked? But this part is a little raw. Yep. So now you're getting the perfect way to cook. But the easy way to clean up with it as well. So just beautiful burgers. Cook your vegetables, cook healthy if you want to, because you have the ability now to cook without any kind of fats or oils if you prefer that. And oven safe up to 500. So one thing that I love to do, let's say you're doing these burgers. If I want to pop them under the broiler to get the cheese really melted yeah. and bubbly, you can absolutely do that. If I want to sear these pork chops and finish them in the oven, you can do that. I know for a fact that Ty actually puts his out on the grill and grills a pizza in the pan because he doesn't want things slipping through. So. You really so have... So puts it in the cast iron pan and absolutely. then puts that out there. Oh. Puts it out there because it's so heat resistant, great for veggies, burgers, your pork chops, your chicken, your steaks. Nothing is going to slip through and you're getting that great heat retention that is famous with cast iron. Oh my goodness, look how These are ready are looking that great. Those By the burgers, way, yes. the fact that that cheese is melting in between my grooves doesn't worry me because it's non-stick. When I'm done, I give it a quick rinse with some water, mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. Clean. So you're cleaning it almost like a nonstick pan as opposed to that old school cast iron where you have to season it, you have to baby it, you can't definitely can't scrub it with soapy water. This you can. Absolutely. And look at the, the space you get with that 11 inch yep. and you get your pour spout to your helper handle as well so it's easy for you to lift it up. Take this to the table. This goes sure. right to the table. This is the, the way you serve it because it's beautiful. It keeps it nice and warm. It's that rustic feeling. And you know, again, using things that you could never use before with yep. a traditional cast iron. Like wine, like tomato. Here I can actually make pan sauces in the same pan that I've seared the pork chops and the steak with mm -hmm. wine, with tomato, with all of those things. So think about the attributes of normal nonstick cooking, but with cast iron. Things getting hot and staying hot. Absolutely. Oh, and they're melty now. Oh, my Just melty right burgers are looking good. For lunch. Oh, all that <gasps> melted cheese is Look pulling <laughs> right off. So even melted cheese you're not worried about. Yeah. Melted sugar. Over here I've got a store-bought pound cake. I love to upcycle store-bought mm -hmm. little desserts. You grill the pound cake, grill pineapple, let those natural sugars release and caramelize, and you're not worried about the cleanup after the fact. Okay, it's available for you right now, all three colors, $24.95. Take advantage mm. of that sale price while we have it available. Black is our best seller, the classic. And we also have it in the red, as well as very pretty teal. Smells good. Now, <laughs> maybe you noticed this little thing over here. Yeah. So tell me about this. So this is a little bacon grease container, and here's how it works. Whenever you're cooking your bacon in the morning, right. or even rendering out chicken, have reserved fat, you want to save that fat. So at Kitchen HQ, we thought of this idea. You have a little strainer on top, and then down below, you got your reserved bacon fat. So why do you want to reserve your bacon fat and your chicken fat? So much flavor in this fat. Imagine sauteing vegetables with your bacon fat. Imagine baking with your bacon fat. This is a pro tip. We will make savory biscuits and savory crust doughs with the reserved bacon fat. I just love that you strain it. My grandmother's bacon strain fat it. always Absolutely. had all that stuff in it. You strain out all those bits of the burnt bacon bits or whatever you've got. Again, reserved chicken. Mm -hmm. And save that fat. Saute with it. Cook with it. And believe me, there's the flavor. Bake with it. Oh yeah. So any recipe that calls for lard, mm -hmm. store bought lard, you can actually swap for that reserved bacon fat. That's money in your pocket every okay. morning when you're making your bacon. Save it. <laughs> Listen, stay in the ordering process for that, and don't Love forget about one. our cast iron non-stick cast iron pan in the 11 inch. We also have the 8 inch. Something else that we have available for you from Kitchen HQ as well which is a proprietary brand here at HSN. It is our own brand that we make especially for you. So we really customize all of our things, all of our items to um, the things that you've asked us for. And one thing you always ask us for is a stand mixer. Four quart stand mixer is still coming up. I'm delighted to be able to offer that because um, when it comes to a stand mixer, it's uh, just in time for Easter when you're gonna be doing some baking and some cooking. So just just uh, uh, had a couple of weeks, you know, getting you ready for that. All right, we are going to now really revolutionize the way that you cook every day because yep. it used to be your microwave is for 
I'm going to heat up some water. I'm going to heat sure. up some coffee. That's it. Preheating or uh, reheating more than anything. But until now, we are offering you a two-piece microwave steamer set. Sale price at $19.95. This is where you cook your meals now. And you're going to be shocked at how beautifully those meals cook because they're steaming in here. They're Amazing. steaming in here. So you get both of your pieces. You get the choice of teal or the red available. What's in the... A little bit of salmon, Ooh, yeah. a little bit of veg that in the bottom, pretty. some asparagus, some peppers. So here's the deal, Alice. We've learned at Kitchen HQ that people love the microwave. It's easy, it's fast. We've got a lineup of, you know, a pasta cooker, a rice cooker, all in the microwave. So we took it one step further and created these beautiful steamers. You got your fish, you got your veg. Check this out, I've got some mixed veg. All of this, oh, nice. look at the beautiful steam coming out. Look at the color. I've done mm -hmm. in my microwave. And personally, this has become my hack at home. When my kids come home from school and I'm scrambling to get food on the table, I always like to make sure there's a protein mm -hmm. and a vegetable. This is a fast way to do it without heating up the pot, steaming the vegetables, cleaning a huge pot. Right. Throw them in the microwave, and then throw this right in the dishwasher. So it's super, super easy. So I've got the salmon here, Alice. I've got some veg here. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. So again, I've got the veg. You got two sizes, a small and a large. I'm gonna throw the veg in. Look at how much I can fit. Mm -hmm. And then you throw in a splash of liquid. It could be water. It could be wine. I like a little bit of stock just to get that added flavor. You could put a knob of butter in here, but you don't have to. This is about cooking with steam. So if you're really watching your calories and you wanna cook with less fat, steam is your friend. So then you close it up and that's it. I'm gonna pop it in my microwave. <laughs> Guess how long? How long? Four minutes? Yeah. Four minutes you know, and you're good to go. We all have a microwave. There, there's, I don't think there's a home anywhere that doesn't have a microwave, but we don't use it, right? We only use it, it for, for coffee, really. Yep. Heating up the coffee or heating this up. But a lot of times we didn't use it because it dried things out. But now sure. you have the steaming element of it. So you can steam your food so you get the speed that you want and you get the results you want. Beautiful. But Instead of it being dried out and yucky, instead of that now, look at this beautiful piece of salmon. Isn't that, that great? You're getting. Flaky. Look at Put that. Put a little bit of lemon. So I'll show Moist. you how I did that one as well. Gorgeous. I'm going to have a little bite of that. Have a bite. Mm. A little bit of veg on the bottom, some peppers, mm. some asparagus, some pea pods if you've got, whatever's in season. Nice. Cut your veg nice and small because this is only going to take minutes in the microwave. I'm going to get my filet of salmon with okay. a little piece of lemon on top. You could do cod, you could do char, you could do trout. You could do, yeah, and you could put, do right. ginger in there. A little ginger in here would be Ooh, great, some yum. garlic. Splash of white wine. So I talked about using liquid. Liquid will create the steam. Splash of water would be great. Wine, stock, add flavor to what you're cooking. So add a little bit of white wine. And again, you don't need any fat here. If you wanted to put a splash of olive oil, go for it. If you want to put a knob of butter, that butter and wine will basically create a sauce in real time, which is incredible. But you close it up and boom, in the microwave. Now look, a piece of salmon like that, every microwave is different. In my mm -hmm. microwave at home, which I know intimately, would take about seven minutes. Okay. Right? So depending on your microwave, but we're talking about dinner and under 10 minutes. The cleanup is easy, and when you throw it in your dishwasher. And you, when you put it in the, the microwave, do you, um, when you take it out, do you take it out with a cloth or something? It can, it can. You can just hold I'm, it just like look, that? Look, but then again, I got chef fingers, out. Okay. You know, just be careful but when you, you pull take it out. out and make it's, sure it's not hot. I would say be careful when you open it because that's okay, where the steam, steam. kind of releases. And that right. steam is what's cooking your food fast and without added fat, which is what we want to do. And that's why we've learned people love cooking in the microwave. Now, I want to tell you a quick story here, Alice. In restaurants, there's a fancy French technique called en papillote. En papillote, which is a French fancy way of saying basically in parchment. And what we used to do in the old days, we would take veg and a piece of fish, splash of wine and some stock, wrap it in parchment and throw it in the oven. It's a fancy French technique. It's basically doing the same thing here. It's about capturing steam and using liquid to cook your food. So at Kitchen HQ, we said, how can we do that for the average home cook and in the microwave? And this is the way to do it. So you get the two sizes. I like that you have, yeah, that you little. You get that little insert. Right. What that insert does, Alice, is it elevates your food just a little bit so that that steam can mm -hmm. circulate around and cook your food evenly and using the power of steam without fat. Oh, nice. By the way, and as a kicker, this is oven safe. 
Mm -hmm. So if you wanted oh. to do it in the oven, like the <laughs> en papillot way we would do in a restaurant, these are oven safe up to 450 if you wanted to do that. How fabulous. Right? So you it's up to you. You can even store in those too. You know, just you close could. it up, put it right in you the refrigerator could. if you've got some leftovers going on there. Look at this. Uh, so we have it in the red. We have it in that teal color on sale today, $19.95. Beautiful steamed shrimp. Some beautiful steamed yeah. shrimp scampi. I threw some garlic mm. in here, some lemon, some chives, little bit of wine, little bit of stock, and a little knob of butter. And now you've got that beautiful sauce on the bottom. Shrimp like this is about four minutes. So we're talking about time, saving time. We're talking about saving on the fat. Cooking with steam is your friend. It's super fast and super, super healthy. I love this particular um, container because yep. it's so nice and deep. So if you want to put something a little bit bigger in there, Absolutely. a little bit deeper, then that works beautifully there. So that deep size yeah. for veg for my family of four, you're gonna do your whole side of veg, mm -hmm. your Brussels sprouts, your broccoli, your cauliflower, steamed for the whole family with that large size. For that smaller size, really you could get away with dinner for two because you know, you're getting in a good amount of veg and you could put two pieces of fish in here. Oh, so this sure. is a great little mm -hmm. way to steam your fish, your shrimp, et cetera. And one and more, little side look veg, that, absolutely. Little There's a little succotash. I think I heard my veg over here. So this is your now weekday hack for getting healthy food on the table, in the microwave. There's my beautiful oh, steamed veg. Gosh, now look, it smells good. you can smell mm -hmm. that stock. The steam is opening up, and look at my veg, Alice. In four minutes, my broccoli's not brown, it's not overcooked, it's perfectly cooked and, and steamed. And it's nice and crisp, too, and it's, you, you know? know what? We often use the term al dente with cooking and think it's just for pasta. It's for everything. I want my veg to be a little bit al dente, not mushy, right. but with a little bit of a bite. Imagine doing your veg in the microwave with steam. It's the way to do it. You get both of these, $19.95. Yep. Choose the red, choose the teal. They're Perfect. two different sizes, so you can use these to make the entire meal. And you're steaming in the microwave rather than drying things out and making jerky of everything. Just <laughs> <laughs> not the way you want not it. Not the way to do it. <laughs> Excuse me. And by the way, if you uh, picked up our 11 inch nonstick cast iron fry pan, our grill pan, you might want to get the companion piece, which is the 8 inch cast iron nonstick fry pan, too. I'm not sure I've ever seen us do an 8 inch fry pan in cast iron and not in the nonstick. But we have an HSN deal price at $19.95, so a nice buy on mm -hmm. that one. And three color choices again black, red, and the teal available for you. I love that 8 inch, Alice, and the breast. You know, if you go online, I did demo that one, I believe, a week or two ago, which really? is great. So you do have that demo online to check out. The okay. eight inch is a great size. I love it too. I think you're gonna use it all the time. Yeah. Something you use all the time, probably your laptop, maybe your printer. Well, we are having a special all month long with HP. You're gonna be able to have some great savings on all of our HP collection. So when you get a chance, you can shop our HP month which ends, of course, at the end of March. But when we come back, something you have to have in a kitchen is coming up. Food is my obsession. Cooking is my life. At hsn.com, discover online cooking demonstrations to help you spice it up in the kitchen. Who wouldn't love you for that? Explore, watch, and shop all of our top chefs at hsn.com. Hey everyone, Juliana Rancic here. Welcome to my home. I want to tell you all about my brand new show, Juliana and Friends. You're invited to my home every Saturday where I'm going to be showing you my favorite HSN products with prices you can only get on my show. And you'll never know which one of my friends will show up. So come on over Saturday nights at 8 only on HSN and HSN.com. Hi everybody, it's Denise Austin and I've been helping millions of people stay in great shape for over 40 years. Helping women aspire to be healthy, active, and vital has always been a passion of mine. I am so excited to be part of the HSN family. You know why? I get to inspire you. We are going to get fit together. Join fitness expert Denise Austin to live ever better. Because you are worth it. We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent. 
while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search Gemstone Care to see our Gemstone Enhancement Chart. when it comes to our kitchen is leftovers. Yep. We always have leftovers. Yep. We've got the perfect way now for you to be able to save those leftovers and to do it with a really innovative cover. What you're looking at is made of silicone. I love that it's very... Um, it's pliable. It's right. Yeah. It's very pliable. It's very flexible. And it just is going to work on all of your containers because we're going to give you a size that fits pretty much every container. You get all six of these. So it's going to work for your bowls. It's going to work if you want it for um, smaller things, taller things. Um, even, look at the diameter here, is going to be nice and small. Even yep. your little, I always like it when I save sauces and things to have a, a smaller. Um, yeah, jars of jam, cat yeah. food. Melissa off camera was saying cat food she opens up and wants to reseal. I mean, look, Alice, anytime you reach for that plastic wrap, which is expensive, it's a pain, mm -hmm. you run out of it and you wrestle with it, you never have to buy that plastic wrap again. You get the six different sizes and you turn a bowl yeah. into your storage container. You turn that you know jar of fruit into your storage container, nothing will leak and it's totally pliable to fit over any size, really bowl, jar, can, anything. And then you use them over and over yep. and over again, which is your real advantage here. But you know what's nice about it is it fits on whatever container you have your food in. That's so right. I don't have to transfer if I have some fruit or whatever or whatever it might be. I don't have to transfer it into a separate container. I don't have to store that container That's because right. this is it. And look at how these things all fit together. This is the entire set of six right there. Totally easy to store, yeah. throw it in the dishwasher. Love that. And again, if you've wrestled with plastic wrap before and run out of it and you know, it's such a pain, this is the replacement. You get the six different sizes and Alice, you totally mentioned it. Anytime you have a bowl of fruit, a bowl of leftover salad, an open jar, that becomes your vessel because you can then wrap it with any one of those six sizes and it will kind look of it, look, morph. It, yeah, it does. It kind of just customizes that customizes fit, doesn't it? Customizes to the size and nothing will leak. Yeah. Your fruit won't leak, anything wet won't leak. This is the way to do it. Stop buying plastic wrap. Right. <laughs> and fighting with it. And, <laughs> and then it never it. seals. It never and then seals. It never seals. You've got to wrestle with it and tear it with your arm. <laughs> you don't have to do that anymore. At Kitchen HQ, we thought of everything. Six different sizes. Throw them in your dishwasher. Store them kind of nested that. into each other. It. That's the problem All of it, solved. Right this there. Is, you know, Alice, this is what our whole love brand that. is about. Coming up with solutions for kitchen problems, and this is one. I love it. We've got more though, because when it comes to maybe your Easter dinner, yeah, you need something that's really gonna whip up all those favorite family recipes. We've got your off, off. stand mixer. Four quart stand mixer available for you. And uh, today, we're gonna do this at a really nice it's clearance price. <laughs> Under $100 for a stand mixer from Kitchen yep. HQ. You're even getting your dough hook, you're getting your whisk, you're getting your traditional paddle, all of that. And when you see the quality of what you're getting, you're getting even your, your splatter guard here. Yep. So anything you make in there isn't gonna splash all over, but it still has that place where you can add everything in. And look at just what a beautiful, beautiful um, addition to your kitchen this is. We have it in black, we again have it in teal, and we also have it in the red. What are you fixing over there? So, Alice, I'm actually gonna make you a recipe from my cookbook. This is an olive oil-based cake okay. with some beautiful spices, some cinnamon and anise and cardamom. But here's the thing, you got the splatter guard. So in here, I've got my eggs, I've got my sugar, I threw in some olive oil, and there's mm -hmm. the splatter guard. The secret to keeping your cake moist, a little bit of buttermilk into my splatter guard. Huh. So nothing kind of splatters onto you. And now we've got six different speeds. And I want to emphasize something about A, a stand mixer, and B, the power of this particular stand mixer. A, everyone needs a stand mixer in their kitchen. I even wrote about it in my book. I wrote the sentence, you need a stand mixer to bake, to whip, to mix. And you know, sometimes people think that they're quote unquote never bakers, it's because they don't have the tools. This is a great way to get into the activity of baking at an affordable price and a really accessible way without sacrificing anything. 
400 watts of power, Alice, means we have more power in our version than the other big name version. More really? power. Six speeds and a pulse function. So anyway, I've got my wet ingredients here. Baking is really quite easy. It's oftentimes mixing wet and dry. So I've got the buttermilk, the oil, my eggs, and my sugar. Now I go in with the dry. So a little bit of all-purpose flour. So baking is only a big scary thing if you don't have the right tools. Here you get the tools at an accessible way. So I've got my flour, a little bit of salt, a little bit of baking powder. That's gonna be our leavener to open up our cake and to let it rise. And then I talked about those earthy spices. A little bit of cinnamon, licorice anise, which I love, and that cardamom, flowery cardamom. Throw some orange zest in here because it's like an orange and spice cake little vanilla, and Alice, I hate to break it to you, I've just given a couple secrets to keeping a very moist cake. Oil-based cakes are very moist, and buttermilk will keep it very moist. So now, with that splatter guard, my flour is not splashing up onto me, and I can now go from speed one, look on the side here, to speed two, to speed three, and it's gonna mix in no time. Another thing to mention about this stand mixer from Kitchen HQ, metal gears on the inside, metal attachments. We haven't cheaped out, so nothing made of plastic. Everything is made of metal. And if you notice, it's got this planetary motion. And what that means is it's going all the way around the bowl. Other stand mixers, you have to stop and scrape down the sides. It'll even say that in the recipe. With Kitchen HQ, you never have to do that. So you can see my cake batter is now done. I give it one or two more mixes, that's it. There's my beautiful incorporated olive oil spice cake batter done. So if ever you thought, I can't do this, I can't bake, you can, but you need the right tools. To get into a stand mixer with 400 watts of power, mm -hmm. all at metal attachments, point, it's just under, unheard of. Under $100, uh, we have taken $40 off of our price. But again, one of the reasons why we're able to bring you the this kind of affordability is because it's our proprietary brand, because we don't have to pay for all of those crazy advertisements and all of that expense, you know, like yep. some of the other big names do. And let me tell you, it adds a lot to the price. So you're getting a really beautiful quality quality in terms of the power of this, the quality, the metal gears, yep. everything included, including not only your uh, traditional paddle, but your whisk, and you're also getting your dough hooks, which you've got to have a powerful stand mixer if you plan to make dough. This is going to do all of those things. You get your splatter guard, and you get your choice of color. So red, the teal, the black, all available. That spice cake looks That spice cake fabulous. with the olive oil and the spices and the buttermilk. Alice, I love doing demos like this because I can feel audiences kind of be amazed by how easy baking is. Yeah. Some people have convinced themselves that baking is this big daunting thing because imagine doing this by hand, of course it would be daunting. Right. But with the right tools, with the right powerful tools, mm -hmm. you can do it. So that, ba that cake was baked for about 45 to 55 minutes 350 degrees and boom, you're done. It's just wet and dry, really, really, really easy. And then you're gonna um, Now we've got the some. dough hook. So okay. I wanna show you this basic pizza dough. A simple pizza dough is only a handful of ingredients. It's flour, water, yeast, maybe a little bit of honey, and that's it. The dough hook is doing the work. It's the dough hook with our planetary motion that's kneading the dough for you. Now you can see my dough going around the bowl. We're developing gluten, we're activating it, we're waking it up. This is pizza 101. Think about making your own pasta dough. Mm -hmm. Pasta is just flour and egg, that's it. You can do this at home. So the dough hook is something that I love to do. Now with this pizza dough, by the way, I can crank it up, really let it pull away from the sides. This is also basic focaccia dough. Very, very easy to do. All you need is that simple amount of ingredients, and you can see I'm developing my gluten. It's starting to pull away from the dough hook, nice and clean. There's that metal attachment. Mm -hmm. Sometimes on a cheaper stand mixer, you'll see a plastic attachment, not with Kitchen HQ. Metal attachments, metal gears, really 400 makes a watts. Huge difference. It's crazy. It does the difference. Mm -hmm. To do this by hand, Alice, you'd have to do it by hand to activate gluten you're never gonna do it. And that's why people say you're right. they're never bakers. <laughs> exactly. I'm never exactly. gonna do it. So to know that you can develop that kind of cell structure in a yeah. bread dough. In a minute. In a minute. It's really, it's crazy. That goes Listen, to show. This is a clearance price you are seeing today, under $100. Update now because 
you're gonna get in the kitchen and it's gonna be Easter and you're gonna go, oh God, I really need a stand mixer. Or the yep. one you have doesn't do all the things you'd like to do. So get something that's gonna work for you, that's gonna be a workhorse in your kitchen and you will like the size of this one. Some of these stand mixers yep. are like these massive things. I don't have any that kind of room in my kitchen to store it. So for me, this is the right size. It's about four quarts and it's not heavy, which is important because oftentimes with stand mixers, Alice, we wanna use it and store it down below this is just over 10 pounds, which mm -hmm. is not heavy at all. You can kind of lift it up yeah. and put it on your counter. I had a stand mixer. I, I could barely lift it. It was ridiculous. Sometimes it can be huge, mm -hmm. bulky, and heavy. Four quarts is the right size. You get that powerful motor, and it's the right weight as well. Because right. oftentimes a stand mixer is something, again, that we use and put back down into a, a drawer, and that's fine. Again, look at all of the, the, um, the pieces we're going to yep. give you. And everything, again, is all metal. So you really are getting the quality that you want. Under $100 for everything, OK? What well, you can pay for attachments, for one attachment. Absolutely. With some of these other stand mixers, it, mixers are crazy. Don't pay for just a name, OK? I mean, it's yep. just not, not worth it when you can do something like a Kitchen HQ and be able to, to again, get everything you need. And um, we're going to show you that once you use your stand mixer, you can maybe bake up some lovely cookies on our silicone um, baking mats that are coming up. That's another secret, by the mm -hmm. way. We're gonna get to that in a second. So we've seen the paddle attachment, we've seen the dough hook, which is what you need to activate dough and really develop gluten in pizza, pasta, focaccia doughs. Why don't we go to another paddle attachment? Let's make some cookies. So in here, this is how you pop it open, by the way, this little button on the side. Okay. Here I've got my sugar and my butter. A little bit of brown sugar and white sugar is my secret when it comes to a great cookie. Now close it up. Let that paddle attachment kind of cream that butter and sugar together. Doing this by hand is a nightmare. <laughs> it's, a lot, it's a lot of work, right? Now into my little spout here that we've used already, whoops, I can throw my, my egg. So I've got a yolk and a whole egg as well. Simple baking 101 is so much easier when you let the stand mixer do the work. A Little bit of vanilla extract. And then I can go in with my dry. Little bit of salt. Oftentimes people are surprised, by the way, Alice, that there's salt in baked goods. But there always is salt in cookies and cakes. You want to actually wake up the flavors. Baking powder and baking soda to help my cookie kind of puff. Now all these recipes, by the way, I think we had the recipe book out here earlier, you do get with the stand mixer, which is great because you want to be able to open it up right out of the box and use it. Little bit of all-purpose flour. And this is again where our cover really helps us, Alice, because all that flour won't puff up all over my shirt. Close it up. I do love that splatter guard. I don't know how many great. times I, I have worn all my batters or the flour, or it's, it's just a mess. Now it's gonna be simple, it's yep. gonna be easy. And under $100 update today. Look, if you wanna put this on flex payment, it means like you split that up on your credit card. It's uh, under $25 to do that. So it makes it a little bit simpler to, to go ahead and get it home, get ready for Easter, get ready for the summertime yep. when you're cooking up all of your, your uh, food for your company and your big parties. And then holiday season, you got to have a stand mixer for the holiday Listen, baking. holiday season, so yeah. this is a basic cookie dough. You can play with your toppings for holiday season. Mm -hmm. If this were Valentine's, I could throw in some little Valentine's chocolates. I can now throw in my little miniature chocolates. If it was Christmas, you could do a Christmas theme. So once you realize how easy baking is and how versatile it is, you start to have lots of fun. And you mm -hmm. actually start to do it. So now I get my chocolate chips in there. My cookie dough is done wow. in seconds. <laughs> like that's a cookie dough, yeah. right? We've developed it with butter, sugar, flour, and there it is. You can feel it in your hand. Another pro hack, by the way, at Kitchen HQ, we have great ice cream scoops. I like to go in with my ice cream scoop, have equal sized yeah. cookies. But nice that's the way idea. to do it. In seconds, you have your homemade cookie dough. Mm -hmm. Baking is easy with the right tools. And this is a great way to get into baking when you thought you couldn't. Mm -hmm. And what you're gonna do next, I, I never even, yeah thought to do like little meringue bites, yep. but they're so beautiful. And you know, these are all the things that you're gonna be able to do with this now. So if you're thinking about it, why don't, why don't you get it home and, and give it a try? I think you're gonna like the power. I really think you're gonna like the size of this particular model. 
and I know you're gonna like the price at under $100. Yep. Stand mixers, you can spend, I mean, when I say a car payment, I'm talking yes. about a luxury car payment. It is crazy how expensive some of these stand mixers are. Do, do we really need that? I'm not a professional baker. I'm not a professional chef. I don't really need to spend $500 for a mixer and then $100 every time I wanna buy a new attachment. And the crazy part is, with those stand mixers that you're talking about, we, we said it earlier, less power. Mm -hmm. Kitchen HQ, we've got 400 watts of power. Those big brand stand mixers actually have less power. So we wanted to create a stand mixer that didn't compromise on anything. You get the 400 watts of power, you get the metal gears, you mm -hmm. get the metal attachments, nothing plastic, throw them all in the dishwasher, and off you go. Now, what you I'll, don't get is the big price tag. And you don't get the big price because tag. Because it's been branded and, and yep. advertised, and you know, it's in the magazines, it's in here. That you have to pay for all that, somebody has to. You don't have to if you want to get that same kind of quality, yep. but today, under $100. So you're making a very pretty meringue there. We're gonna do a little meringue. Now when you talk about the, the whipper attachment, we've done the paddle and we've done the dough hook. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about the whisk, and that's really useful for I love a, a whisk. meringue, yeah. whipped cream, homemade. These are all easy things, mm -hmm. but you need that attachment and you need that power. I personally, have done this by hand, and it's hard. If you want to whip egg whites by hand, you're looking at 10 minutes of hard work. Mm -hmm. So here, I can use one of my six speeds. I can even crank it up. All this is, is egg whites and sugar. I threw in a little bit of food coloring. And again, you could do that on the seasons. St. Patty's Day, you could have done a green one. Valentine's, you do the pink. You can mix and match. Imagine a baby shower, doing a nice light blue or a light pink. Really, really fun, but here, we let the stand mixer and that power do the work. Again, this is just egg whites and sugar with a little bit of food coloring. And now you get those stiff peaks. This is what we look for when making a meringue. And to do this by hand, again, this is why people don't wanna do it and they feel like they can't do it. With a stand mixer, one that has power and the right attachments, you could do anything in the kitchen. And that's why literally, and a uh, four quart capacity on that as four well. Four quarts, yeah, it's a four quart capacity. Mm -hmm. Think about your whipped creams. Yeah. And again, your meringues. This is stuff you can do with your sand mixer. If you're buying whipped cream in that kind of, that canister, you don't have to do that. And you can, you've got the six different speeds here. So we've got the six different speeds. We've got a pulse function, and this is the planetary motion. That planetary motion means it goes all the way around. You don't have to stop to scrape the sides like you do on so many. And you can see everything made of metal. The attachments are made of metal. The gears are made of metal. So you get the 400 watts of power. You get the metal attachments. You get the metal gears, and there's that planetary motion going around the sides of the bowl. I gotta tell you, Alice, I've cooked with a lot of stand mixers before in my life. I do have the expensive name brand at my home. It does not have planetary motion. So even on the more expensive version, the big name brand version, I have to stop and scrape the sides. And so I don't use it anymore. I use my Kitchen HQ. It's lightweight. I pull it out and I use it. It's got more power and it's got that planetary motion. That's what you want. Absolutely. And if you want this, you have three color choices. You can want it in the teal, the black, and we also have it available in that red color as well. So whichever color you like, you're gonna like the power yep. and the ease and certainly under $100 for, for a stand mixer is quite the buy. So I wanna also remind you about something we offered a few minutes ago, which is going to be our steam microwave containers that we have available for you. We have a set of two that we're giving you. This is one of them right here. Ooh, we have some salmon, I think, right inside of there. Look how beautiful that is. Steamed beautifully because our microwave is something that we hardly ever use, but you should use it. You cook faster, but we don't like that it dries things out. When you steam it, everything is gonna cook fast, but it's gonna cook beautifully. Look at the color of those veggies in there. A beautiful way to be able to cook, and we're gonna give you a set of two of those. I think it's $19.95 for that. So that's available for you. And uh, also we have our mixing bowl set as well that Chef is gonna show us right now. Yeah, so Alice, you know, we talked about baking, and now I wanna talk about every kitchen also needs mixing bowls. Sounds so simple, but this is the solution for your mixing bowls in your kitchen. We've got five pieces. So here's the first lid, which is so great, because when you've got a hand mixer, you can kind of mix away, 
without worrying about things splattering all over you as well. So that's the lip bowl as well. And then you get those three sizes and they nest in each other, which I love. There's the small size. There's the colander for straining out your pasta or whatever you need to strain out. And then there's the large mixing bowl size. So for me, that's all you need. The colors are great, they nest. Throw them in your dishwasher when you're done. But we've got the large size, then you nest in with that colander for whatever straining you need to do. By the way, notice how the lens have a little lip. So if mm -hmm. you need to pour something, if you're making a salad dressing, whatever you're doing, and then you get that smaller size. Now, to make it a five piece set, you also get that lid and that ingenious little kind of cap in the top. So like I mentioned, we also have an amazing hand mixer. If you're ever hand mixing anything with flour, and you don't want things to splatter up on you, this is the way to do it. All right, so we have two color choices in this one, which is gonna be the red color yep. that you're looking at right there. And then we also have it available in the teal, um, which is the center color is the teal, but the exterior color is actually gonna be blue. So order it as teal, but just know that you'll be looking at the blue. Yep. So uh, both choices are available, $19.95. Nice to have a fresh set of mixing bowls. Sometimes isn't we it? have those old, dingy, kind of stained ones. This mm -hmm. is a nice little refresh. Right. And you'll also notice on the inside, there's even measuring units. So we've thought of everything. Yeah all included at $19.95. Uh, something else that we have available for you is going to be cast iron pan. You know what, this is the way we love to cook and you love to cook with it because of its high performance. What you hate about cast iron is having to clean it. So when you clean this one, it is your non-stick cleaning now. So a great way to uh, be able to clean up but get the high performance of a cast iron skillet. $24.95, a really nice value on that one. We also have the eight inch available for you if you want the companion piece to the 11 inch. But something that we actually um, just debuted, I think yesterday, yep. was what you're looking at right here. It is a perfect baking companion. This is gonna be so smart in terms of not only having something that gives you this perfect finish, but cleaning up simple, easy, and you get better results. A silicone baking mat, we're gonna give you all five of them. So you get two of your cake pans right here, your, we call it your, your uh, cake molds, and then you're also going to get three of your rectangles as well. So that full cookie sheet as well as the um, quarter sheet, and then you get the half sheet liner as well, $24. 95 cents, three color choices, which is the black, you get the red, and you get the teal mm. as well. These have so many different uses. So uh, let's keep going on story time here, Alice. I've given a couple secrets. I got a restaurant secret to share with you. Over the years, we've always used silicone baking mats like this with a fiberglass mesh technology on the inside. So what this does means it doesn't tear, Right. means it's non-stick. It also means with that, can you guys see through the camera, that webbing, that fiberglass kind of mesh? That also means you get even heating throughout. So if you're baking cookies or scones or anything with parchment and with foil and you notice some parts are brown, some parts aren't, you're flipping your tray halfway mm -hmm. throughout, we're not doing that in restaurants because we've always used silicone mats like this. Now traditionally, it came from a very expensive, fancy French brand. At Kitchen HQ, we said, okay, let's make a home version and do it the exact same way. Silicone, fiberglass mesh, non-stick and won't rip. This is the way to bake, to, to roast, to, you know, not just sweet. Think about savory things like sheet pan dinners, mm -hmm. a glazed salmon that could get sugary and sticky. This is the way to line your pan, not with parchment and not with foil. So what did you make here? So here I've got a chocolate bark. And I actually wow. want to show you the bottom before I break it up. You can see the pattern mm -hmm. of that fiberglass mesh. That means that I lay down my melted chocolate, it set and nothing stuck to it. I've done this with caramel brittle, I've done it with the sugary, the most stickiest things you can think of and nothing will stick. And so chocolate brittle. You got the chocolate Welcome bar. Welcome to Easter. <laughs> think about anything where cleanup was a disaster. Mm -hmm. Sugary things, cheesy things like my nacho platter. I mentioned yeah. earlier, a salmon bake, any kind of sheet pan dinner or baked good, you wanna line with silicone that doesn't stick and gives you even heat. Look at the bottom of my cookies. I talked about the bottoms of cookies, scones, croissants, any baked good, even store-bought where you take the dough and bake it off. Mm -hmm. If ever you've noticed that some spots are kind of brown and some aren't, it's because you don't have that silicone kind of technology. That silicone, silicone and fiberglass mesh 
gives you even perfect color all throughout whatever you're baking. Cookies, scones, croissants, cinnamon buns, even savory buns, anything that you're doing. We've been doing this in restaurants, Alice, for years. Before it's been expensive, and really you never saw it. We figured out a way to bring it to the home cook, and this is the five sizes that we thought would be really smart. You get the two nine-inch cake liners. If you love to bake, perfect for that, of course. Before those, Alice, you're making little parchment paper circles. No more arts and crafts. We're throwing out arts and crafts hour, Alice. You got the two nine-inch circles, which I love, mm -hmm. and then you get the three different sizes of the sheet pan. So you get the quarter sheet, the half, and the full. This is everything you need. And we talked about earlier with those silicone kind of wraps. You don't need to buy plastic wrap, and now you don't need to buy parchment or foil. So take that drawer, the drawer of horror with the parchment and the foil and the plastic wrap, throw it <laughs> the out. The drawer of it's horror. It's the drawer of horror. <laughs> because things are everywhere, you double buy them, you run out, you don't need it anymore. These are the five that you need, and you no longer need parchment and foil. Absolutely, and you know, you're gonna get all five pieces today for under $25. You use these over and over and yep. over again, and every time you use them, you're gonna get really great results. Whether you're doing something like chocolate, which is gonna be very sticky, whether you're cooking, yep. baking cookies, and trying to get those up off of the uh, aluminum uh, uh, cookie sheet, because mm -hmm. that's gonna give you your best results. But then you can't get the cookie off of it. Those look really good. These look really good. You know what? Yeah, I know. It's Easter early here. Why it's not? Easter. But, you know, <laughs> we, we said earlier, years ago when sheet pan dinners became all the rage, when you wanted to put your salmon and your chicken Yo, and your good. veg and potatoes, there you go, and it won't stick. <gasps> and you wanted to put it on one sheet pan and throw it in your oven. If you ever did that with foil and parchment and noticed that the cleanup after was a disaster, mm. obviously it was. We want to cook nonstick and we want to cook nice and even heat. Silicone is the key, nonstick is the key, and that fiberglass mesh. This is technology we've used in restaurants for decades. And before this, it was almost outrageous because it was outrageously priced and there was only a fancy French brand on the market doing it. We took the same idea and brought it to the home cook. The fact that we could do it in those five pieces, the different sizes, is really, really great. And I do wanna say, Alice, this kind of little circle, it's not just for cake pans. I actually like to do this if I'm just reheating something in the microwave and I'm lining a plate with it to keep me, you know, clean up uh, much easier. Right. But also what I'll do, even if I'm baking different things, so for example, if I have a spicy glaze on my salmon, I'll put one individual piece on here, and then on the other circle, I'll bake one off plain for my kids mm -hmm. and put them on the same sheet tray and off I go. Oh my so, God. So really versatile. This is so cute, isn't and it? And it won't stick. Do you know if you went to a, some kind of like candy store or whatever, do you know what they would charge for a yep. bark like this? And it wouldn't even be pretty. As pretty as this. It's beautiful, it's simple, make your own, do your own fun things, yep. but this is what you want. You want it to come out like that, beautiful like that. And you're gonna be able to do this because you have these silicone baking mats. They are smart, you're yep. right, they can be very expensive out in the stores. Why spend the money when you can do it right here Kitchen HQ and get all these kind of great results and not have to take this pan, for example, with the nachos yep. and everything else and soak it and scrub it and everything else when you don't need to anymore. Throw it in your oven up to 500 mm -hmm. degrees. You know what, once Alice, I made, I put a bunch of peanuts, pour caramel on to make a peanut brittle. Mm. Well, you're really getting into this. I am. Do we have coffee this for Alice? Is, is there any coffee in the back there? <laughs> I don't need coffee, I've got Oven safe up to 500, <laughs> but also great for the freezer as well. Sometimes I'll line leftover meatballs, throw them in my freezer, nothing sticks ever. And you get that even heat, even color, because of that fiberglass mesh, mm. it's silicone, it's non-stick, oven safe. This is delicious. Throw away your parchment. <laughs> if I did this on foil, Alice, we'd be licking foil. No more foil. <laughs> no, no more good. foil. No it more is good, foil. right? No more parchment. <laughs> yeah. mm. I think the crew is about to move in. Sorry, guys. Little, little Easter, Easter, uh, it's art. It's mm. what it is. It's beautiful. Make your brittles. Make your coffee. I know. You know you do it. Those little eggs things. Oh, I, I got love the eggs too. <laughs> I pour the melted chocolate on, and like I said, you can even see on the bottom. Yeah. It got the same pattern as that fiberglass mesh. Nothing sticks. Fabulous. Mm. Oh my God. Thank you, Chef. What fun Great it has been. You. I'm taking my chocolate with me. Okay. Mm, me too. <laughs> Listen, uh, if you want to see the entire Kitchen HQ collection, which you do, there's so many cool things in there. Then go to it. Um, you go to. 
hsn.com, and then you can do your shopping there. Yep for everything, and you can even see some little videos of, you know, show, chef showing you how to do some of the things and everything, which is really very, very nice. Uh, stay in the ordering process for all of our Kitchen HQ. Great to see Great you. Great to see you, Alice. But we've got another hour together, and it's all about daily deals and top finds, so we have some great things we're gonna be sharing with you coming up next. Mm. some great things we're going to be sharing with you. That's Carrie McNally you're here and there in the background. Um, but what we have coming up it, after Carrie McNally is going to be from Origami. We have two of your racks. These are your three tier racks and they've got this nice great big lip on them so that you have the mesh here but then you also have the ability to keep everything where you want it to be. You get a set of two at just under $170 today. Three flex payments available. They are on wheels as well which is what's so nice about them. You can use these for your gardening. You can use these to serve 